All right, I've got my voice and speech packet. I am turned to the structural energy page, page 19. <clears throat> Let's review the lip openings. We're just going to go down this list right here. That smallest rounded lip opening, that's the small circle, number one. Woo, 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 woo. And then the slightly larger circle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slightly larger circle still, the number three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That one is as if you're saying, aw, puppy. It's an aw sound. Let's go to the number five, the oval. Aw, wah, wah. Bring your lips forward to make it a slightly rectangular shape for the four. Aw, wah. Go back to the number five. Aw, and move it to the number one. Aw, wow, wow, wow. From the number five, relax the tongue and let the lip corners relax to make it more diamond like. Ah, ah, wah, wah. Now let's feel the number three again. Let that move into a Y. Oi, oi, oi. Feel the number six again. Let that move into a Y. I, I, I. And then feel the number three and find that R trombone coloring it. Er, er, for the R derivative. So once we feel those shapes, go ahead and hit pause now and feel them all again and come back when you're done. Okay, so you have felt those shapes. I want you to feel the shapes and notice the sound that comes within that shape because that's honoring the structure of the sound. Okay, structural energy. Finding the structure of the mouth space and the structure of that vowel. So now we're going to go through the word list, the number one word list going down. Um, do it with me. And then when we get through the whole word list, you're going to pause it and get through it again on your own. Number one, you, woo, cool, to, loot. 21, old, whoa, coal, over, nose. Number three, all, walk. Call, corn, gnaws, 3y, oink, boys, coil, moist, noisy, the 3r or the r derivative, earn, nurse, curse, earth, nerve, the number four, odd, god, want, watch, what, the number five, Alms, arm, Carl, sharp, bar. The 51, ounce, crown, cowl, now, wow. The number six, add, ask, can, nasty, after. The six Y, I'd, tide, kind, Nile, mind. And then the Y1, cute, duty, dual, news, cupid. Before you hit pause, let's do one row going across together so that you can feel the movement of the muscles of the lips and cheeks. We'll do the first row together. You, old, all, oink, earn, odd, alms, ounce, add, eyed, cute. So hit pause. You're going to go through the columns for each a number lip opening and then you're going to do the rows going across. Come back when you're done. So now we're going to explore the sentences at the bottom of the page that move on to the next page, page 20. And when we're exploring the sentences for structural energy, we have three different modes that we're going to go through. 
So you remember in consonant energy, we had three modes. We had tasting, music making, and communicating. These are similar. We're going to have extravagant mode, which is the full use of the reverse megaphone that we just did. It's going to naturally slow down your rate of speech because you're honoring the fullness, fullness of the reverse megaphone. Then we're going to go to theatrical mode which is a slightly smaller reverse megaphone, but the same rate of speech that you had for extravagant. So you're going to have to have some good sensory awareness and um, be tuned inward to feel what's happening. And then the last mode is conversational, which is the same size reverse megaphone that you had for theatrical, but a very slightly quicker rate so that you're moving with more dispatch to the consonant energy. So when I say slightly, I'm talking minuscule. Okay, so really feel the subtleties between these three modes. All right, so uh, I'll do the first two sentences for this video, but you'll hit pause and you'll go through the rest. I'm going to do the first two um, in all three modes. I want you to just listen, and then you're going to hit pause. You're going to do all of the sentences in extravagant mode, so you feel the fullness of that reverse megaphone through and through. And then I want you to do all the sentences again in theatrical mode, which again is a slightly smaller reverse megaphone, same rate of speech. And then you're gonna keep that slightly reverse megaphone after you've gone through all the sentences in theatrical mode, but move with more dispatch to the consonant energy for conversational and do them all again. So you're doing these sentences all three times in the three different ways, okay? So I'm gonna do the three different ways as a demonstration for the first two sentences at the bottom of 19. Extravagant. The old and forlorn traveler foolishly followed the four noisy small children across the last two strongly guarded borders. The second sentence. Please don't make long distance calls on those phones. So now I'm gonna go slightly smaller on the reverse megaphone, same rate of speech for theatrical mode. The old and forlorn traveler foolishly followed the four noisy small children across the last two strongly guarded borders. Please don't make long distance calls on those phones. Now I'm going to keep that size reverse megaphone but go slightly to more dispatch for the consonant energy for conversational. Old and forlorn traveler foolishly followed the four noisy small children across the two last two strongly guarded borders. Please don't make long distance calls on those phones. Okay, so I want you to find an organic behavior to justify each of the three modes so that you're not mechanical or technical with it. All right, so the first one, extravagant mode, think of it as gossip or the most unbelievable news or uh, a ghost story. Whatever you need to do to find that organic connection to that behavior. So you're going to hit pause, go through all the sentences, the three different ways, and come back when you're done. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do is find a poem. I'm gonna get my poetry book because I know you have yours too, right? So find your poetry book and then I want you to pick any poem you like. Now hopefully you've had some time to go through these. There's a, these are a lot of great poems in here and you can um, read any of them. So Let's do, I'm gonna do Langston Hughes, Dream Deferred Harlem, which is on page 75. And I'm gonna do it in the three modes for exploring structural energy. You're gonna do the same thing. Find a poem, 
find a longer one. I'm picking a shorter one just for the time of the video. But pick a longer one and really go for it and find those three modes of structure. All right, extravagant mode. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load or does it explode? Theatrical. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load or does it explode? And then conversational. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load or does it explode? So what you may have noticed when you're working in the three modes is that if you can fully yawn into a word with that full reverse megaphone, and the vowel does not distort, that's how you find that structural vowel. If it distorts, it's probably a neutral vowel, which we'll get to in a couple weeks, or it's a tonal vowel. So use that as you find the structure. Have fun, be well, and stay tuned. I'll see you later.